So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on adjust for best performance, which will now untick everything. Now, once everything has been unticked, we're now gonna click on custom. Now you're gonna tick show thumbnails instead of icons. You're gonna tick this one. And you're gonna tick smooth edges or screen fonts. Tick this one. So you're gonna untick everything and then just tick both of these. And then click on okay. For the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in visual effects. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna turn off transparency effects and turn off animation effects. Turn off both of these. Now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you're gonna click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna expand display adapters. Now you're gonna find your graphics card. You're gonna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for your device installed. I'm also gonna be leaving down below free links for Nvidia, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card. For me, I have an Nvidia graphics card, so I've got the Nvidia app. And then once you're on our software, you're gonna click on the driver tab. Now you're gonna click on check for updates. Make sure that your graphics card drivers are fully up to date for your software. And now for the last step, you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.